this video, I'm going to talk about and demonstrate some hallway music examples for guitar. Think of hallway music as a musical wallpaper, a way to soften the sound environment for patients and staff alike. Take any of the techniques that you learn in this video and apply them to the rest of your playing or to the other examples in the video. My goal with this video is to provide a resource for any skill level of guitar player. As I was composing each example, I made sure that there was at least one technique that you could take with you and add to your toolbox. In example one in A major, note two things in particular. The rubato expression marking, so try pushing and pulling the tempo as you're playing this example. And also the diminished chord, a really handy chord. And once you learn the shape of a diminished chord, know that you can take the root of that chord and move it up or down a minor third and you're playing the same chord, just in an inversion. Example 2 in B minor has two things I'd like to point out. One, it's in B minor because it says to put the capo on the second fret. So really you're playing the chords of A minor, but the sound is that of B minor. Take this with you and try this with other examples, especially if you were to play with another person. Also note that in the first section, the playing technique is mostly chordal, kind of like a bass, chord, chord, chord. Whenever you see this kind of accompaniment pattern with guitar, you could always turn that into a finger picking style if that was something that you were going for or the sound that was needed. Example 3 in C major has a classical sort of sound to it. 
And one thing I'd like to point out with this example is the second section. There's a bunch of crazy looking chord names. And if you look at the tab, it's actually really simple how to play that. Notice that the index finger on the first fret on the B string doesn't move the whole time. And the only uh, other note that does move is the three on the D string where it moves to a two and then to an open and back to two. Example 4, in C pentatonic, there's a lot to unpack here. And it may be intimidating to try and learn some of these. If you look at the tab that says chord shapes with quotes spelled Q-U-A-R-D, kind of touching on the chordal harmonies that you would get from a pentatonic scale, you'll see a bunch of O's, which are really just placeholders for all of the notes in the C pentatonic scale on the guitar from the open string all the way up until the 12th fret. Now take baby steps with this one because it's really worth the work and probably one of the harder examples to tackle for most people.
Example 5 in D major is a good example for relaxation. One thing I want to point out in this example is the H that's used in the tablature. The H stands for hammer-on, so you would play the note before it like an open G, and then you would hammer on the index finger, say, on the second fret. So when you use this technique, you would play the G string open and hammer on the index finger and you wouldn't pluck that note again. The hammer on is doing the plucking. Example 6 in D Dorian is probably one of the easier examples. Notice that there's a strumming pattern involved, and the pattern is written out with arrows and then 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, showing you where to strum in what direction. This would be a good example to use a guitar pick.
example seven an E major is a very easy example and also good for relaxation. Notice the chord names going across the top of the tab and notice that the tab sort of has this mountain look to it. The notes go up and they come down a few notes and then it changes chords and follows the same general pattern. Oftentimes when you see this pattern in a tablature it means that you're just holding a chord down like is true in my example and plucking the notes from that chord and then changing chords and plucking the notes from those chords. Example 8 in E minor does something that I think is really important to know for a guitarist. It takes a chord progression and repeats it, but varies it slightly. The first time you play the lower notes of the two chords, E minor and A minor, and the second time it plays the bass and the higher notes of those same chords, E minor and A minor. Example 9 in F major is another example good for relaxation. In this example, both the chords that you're playing are bar chords. And you could do this in a way that doesn't use bar chords if you find a way to adapt it that better fits your needs. Notice in the second section there's an H in the tablature, and this stands for hammer-on. Play the first note, and then hammer the finger down for the next note and not plucking that note again. The hammer-on does the plucking. Example 10 has the word jazz in the title. Don't let this scare you away. The chords that I wrote for this example follow a simple fingering. The accompaniment style for this example is a simple continuous bass quarter note with a slightly syncopated feel in the chord strikes. Try practicing this example just with one chord until you get the feel of the groove. Once you get the groove, try it with a myriad of chord progressions. 
I've also included other chord progressions that could work with this example, and in the recording, I play each one of those followed by the main section. Example 11 uses pedal tones and moving thirds, two things that may sound scary for the guitar. One thing that stays constant in this example is the finger picking pattern. Although this example seems to have a lot of different notes, notice that the pattern you follow either uses the index and the ring finger together or the middle and ring finger together. Thank mm -hmm. you. The last example gives you a demonstration of two guitars playing together. And you could think of this as two of any instruments playing together, one being accompaniment and one being melodic. In the video, you'll see me play an improvised melodic line. And I do a couple of different things to try and demonstrate as many techniques at once. This isn't something that you would need to do if you're playing in the hallway. First I start playing a G minor scale just on the G string. Then, as the example continues, I pick up a slide and play a D major scale on the D string. So I'm switching between a G minor scale on the G string and a D major scale on the D string. Then I remove the slide and continue playing the D major scale, ending back on the G minor scale, following a A, B, A form.
Thank mm-hmm. you.